so we can right click a scroll bar in the pane or we can right click a splitter bar and select the pane that we want to configure and we can select from amongst the properties that appear in the shortcut menu to configure the panes the first option is label which adds the label for the pane to the front panel lab view hides the pane label by default Next option is create, which allows us to create a BI server reference. Property node. Or invoke nodes to configure the pane programmatically the horizontal scroll bar option allows us to select if the horizontal scroll bar is always visible never visible or not visible while the VI is running If we run it, then it becomes invisible. Otherwise, during development, it is visible. Likewise, we have vertical scroll bar option, which allows us to select if the scroll bar is always on, which is by default, never visible, or not visible while the VI is running. So if we turn off the horizontal or the vertical scroll bars By right clicking the scroll bar in the front panel window, we can display the scroll bar again by enabling the show vertical scroll bar and show horizontal scroll bar option in the customize windows appearance. Uh, dialog box next option is pain sizing which allows us to control how sizing the window affects panes. We can choose to have the objects in the resized pane remain at the bottom, top, left or right of the pane. So let's see how this uh, appears.
so by default stick to top and stick to left is so if we run the VI this is how resizing behaves if we change it to stick to bottom instead of top then this is how it behaves the bo bottom is sticking and if we turn on stick to left then this is how it behaves it is sticking to the left we can also ch uh, choose to scale objects to the pane when we resize the window so if we select this option scale all objects with pane then as we move the pane and then we leave the mouse then objects appear leave the mouse and object resize leave the mouse uh, object resize and the last option which is scale objects while resizing if you turn this on and as you are resizing the object size change dynamically along with the changing pane you don't have to release the mouse effects to show up so if there are no splitter bars that is the new VI on the front panel we can configure some properties of the single pane in the VI properties dialog box however if for example these properties if we add a splitter bar to the front panel then these properties are not available. LabVIEW states that these applies these settings applies only to single pane panels. So if we add splitter bar to the front panel, LabVIEW limits the menu options in the VI properties dialog box because the configuration cannot apply to all panes. We must configure each pane individually. For example, adding a splitter bar to the front panel dims the scale all objects on front panel as the window resizes option in the window size page of the VI properties dialog box we can use the pane properties to configure panes programmatically using property nodes and methods for that particular pane 